Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Okay, today we're going to continue with our breed study for 2023. And we're starting our global collection with Finnish. Now, um, I did look and there's nothing in the book that specifically says Finnish. I looked online and everything where you say Finnish sheep, it always comes back with the breed of Finn sheep. So I'm going to assume that's the, the one because there's no breed that's specifically, specifically called Finnish. So we're going to assume that Finn sheep and Finnish are the one and the same. Um, and I need to apologize that uh, I did not post something last week. We're just dealing with some health issues. Um, so on with the breed study. Um, so uh, where was that? Um, again, I, I purchased these myself. Uh, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or forms. Uh, these do come from Hearthside Fibers on her Etsy store. Um, I will leave a link below to that in case you want to um, try these out yourself. I get nothing for it. so. But um, she did, she's a really nice lady and um, got these out to me quickly when I ordered them. So uh, let's uh, take a look at it. Okay, so... Uh, the breed is from Finland, uh, 28 to 30 microns, and average staple length is 80 millimeters or about 3 inches. So let's take a look in the field guide to fleece. There's what the sheep looks like. A kind of cute little sheep there. Um, it says here, origins Finland, fleece weight 4 to 8 pounds. 1.75 to 3.75 kilograms. Staple length is 3 inches to 6 inches, which is 8 to 15 centimeters. Uh, fiber diameter is 22 to 33 microns. Uh, natural colors are white, black, gray, and occasionally brown. Now, this has got some brown in it, so we've got the occasional in there. Um, says here the fin is one of the most prolific sheep in the world with litters of as many as nine lambs born at a time wow i can the poor sheep <laughs> giving birth to nine lambs all right um here we go the versatile wool of this breed offers a nice combination of softness and durability with a pleasant resilience that comes from its moderate crimp. There's not a lot of grease in it, so it's easy to clean and prepare. Just be sure to watch the water temperature and avoid agitating or the wool will felt. Expect an open fleece from which you can easily separate locks with slightly pointed tips. Shorter locks can be carded, but most fin wool has perfect staple length for combing. Keep the fibers parallel to accentuate the luster. Whether you fluff out the locks and spin directly from them or spin longer fleeces from the fold, fin is easy to work with. And I apologize, my cat is decided she needs attention. She's 17 years old, so she's an old crabby old biddy. But I love her to death. <laughs> Affects the dyes. It takes dye well. Best uses. Sturdy enough to wear well, yet often fine enough to be worn next to the skin. Fin wool is a great choice for sweaters, blankets, textured knit, pearl patterns, and woven laces. It fills easily. As it said in there, be careful when washing it. So let's take a look at the fiber itself. So, take my card out of there. Set it aside and pull out the fiber here so yeah, it's not too bad it's fairly soft I love the two-tone colors in this particular uh, fleece so let's go ahead and pull off a staple length of that let's go ahead and grab one there that's about average let's say about four or five inches maybe so let's see here what this says uh, it's about four four and a half inches we'll say four and a half inches all right um so we will uh get the wheel set up and spin this and see how it turns out
Okay, it's the next day. The yarn has been wet finished and hung up to dry. And here we go. We got about 30 yards. This again was chain plied. It's about six wraps per inch. So roughly a bulky, super bulky is what it should be. Um, I don't think it's that thick, but um, I think it came out beautiful. It's squishy. It's got a fair amount of stretch to it. A fair bit of drape to it. It's not super soft, but I would definitely wear this as a sweater or a hat or a scarf or anything like that. I think it would be perfectly fine for that. I love the way that the colors came out. Um, the brown and white. Um, when I was spinning it, it was more of a barber pole. But after it was chain pied, it got more of the marble look to it. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I would love to spin more of this, especially if it was in this colorway with the with the mixture of brown and white. I just think it's beautiful. I would love to have a, a sweater quantity of this because I would love to make myself something like that out of it. So tell me, have you ever spun fin sheep or finish, whatever it's called? Um, what were your thoughts of it? What were your uses for it? Would you spin it again? Because I definitely would. So, next week, we're going to be doing Falkland from the Falkland Islands. I believe that's in Central America, if I remember correctly. Um, this one's uh, 18 to 33 microns, so it should be fairly soft, um, 80 to 100 millimeters, 3 to 4 inches. So, uh, it's going to be fun to look at this and spin it. So, that's it for this week. So, until next time, happy crafting.